I'm in the middle of a station here, so what's the deal? Oh, it's Rogue. Balance keeps Night City alive. Without okay. it, we'd all beat each other's throats. Corpse, gangs, mercs, everyone. And where do fixers fit in? If one side starts to get too much power, a fixer can help tip the scales toward the other discreetly. Think about it. Balance keeps biz from running dry. Anyway, why the lecture, right? Right. Because it's time for a little intervention. Check the attachment. I'm guessing you don't follow the stock market, but recently Militech has been logging behind everyone else. Just stroll around Corporal Plaza and you'll see their HQ abuzz like a hornet's nest. I like that metaphor, that's pretty cool. You can tell they're just itching for an excuse to send the armed cavalry into the city. You've got reasonable people telling you not to get under corpse skin, and then you have Rebecca Price, who decides to open a fucking store selling hacked and previously stolen Militech equipment. It's not that I don't value small businesses, on the contrary, it's just that not having the fucking army on our streets is something I value more. You're right, because this Rebecca Price is a dumbass. How the hell are you gonna go open up a store selling hacked and stolen equipment right in front of them? That's like asking for trouble. Rebecca Price needs to disappear. The how is your call? I don't go into the fine details and I'm sure you know what to do with any animals getting your way. They of all creatures should understand the importance of balance in our delicate little ecosystem. Which leads me to Data Inc. Her store. Oh, look at her! She has stereo equipment too? Okay, so we got some of her people in the store. Half this trash is older than me. Gongs actually come here to buy this shit? Uh. Shut your trap, Misha. Got a customer. What? Uh. Want something? Got some hefty price tags here. Price of quality, Chumbada. Chumbada? Yeah, so Chumbada. Been in biz here long? Huh? A lot of years of sales under your belt, it seems. Yep. No frills kind of place. Most buy something quick or get the fuck out. What do you sell? Mr. Manager, the valued customer wants to know what we sell. What? Oh, uh, some, uh, wires, chips, other electronic shit. You heard the manager. Heard you sling some pretty serious tech around here. Listen, you're gonna shop or you ain't. Here's what we got. I guess I'm not. But thanks, anyways. Damn, the amount of attitude he's given me? Like, I'm just a customer. Oh, they even got pro, pro uh, green team shit from muscle buildup. That's pretty cool. That is so cool indeed. And he's not looking, so. Can I not grab him? Okay. Are you not gonna do anything? Cool. Yo, he dead has to even do anything. This shit is so funny. No, you didn't see me. In fact, I'm going to the, oh fuck. I can't even go to the fucking basement. I mean, at least I got into the bathroom. And they found the body, so already they know something's up. But how am I supposed to go into the basement, though? What's in here? 
Oh, this is the basement. Okay. Uh, look at Rebecca. She's nervous. She's nervous. Oh my god, I can't wait. Alright, I'm gonna use this. My best weapon in the whole game! My lucky katana that deals a thousand damage points. So, she's gonna get shanked to death. Oh, it's like I want to talk to her, but at the same time, I feel like I can't talk to her, so. Let me see what happens if I reboot her optics. Oh, she's pissed. She's like, what the fuck? Let's put on this distraction technique so I can kill both of them without hesitation. Boom, baby! Oh shit! Rebecca! I'm sorry. I had to get rid of you because you... You really don't know what the hell you're doing. Let me see this. This is a conversation between Rebecca and an unknown entity. I'm doing what I can. That is of no concern to me. I want the next shipment by the end of the week. And if I don't get it, don't fucking touch her. Then you'll get another finger. <gasps> oh no! He's already touching whoever he's touching. Finger style. You'll get everything you ordered. Please! Good girl. How are my people doing? Are they listening? Yeah, they're helping out. And don't blame me. You brought this on yourself. And maybe not just on yourself. You make up what you owe, and we'll forget this ever happened. Who the hell is this guy? What the hell? Did you just... He dead ass tried to punch me. Okay, so this is another conversation, but this is between Eddie John and Charles Gribbon? Gribbon? Whatever. Just doing my job. Sorry, just doing my thing. Doing your thing? Yeah. And what's your thing? Does it involve being skeezed out behind the dumpsters? I can see you on the fucking cam feeds. What? No. I, you're supposed to be on the lookout, making sure no one's trying to fuck us. But I just need a little- The fuck are you ta- The fuck are you taking? It helps me focus. How about I beat your junky ass? Maybe that'll help you focus. Don't tell anyone. Fuck, I'm sorry. Charlie, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so funny. <laughs> You'll pay me and get your shit together. Of course, yeah, anything. <laughs> Yo, I love this. I love this. I love making fun of this game sometimes. Ooh, hell yeah, I'll take some money. Shit, don't. What's this? I'll take this. Oh, man, I carry too much. Oh, shit. Anyways. I just had to. He was gonna shoot me regardless. Ooh! Okay, so another conversation. Let me see. And this is between Jack Gorky and Logan Garcia. I like a good fight. Question is how much you can take. I got a thick skull and sharp knuckles. Well, I got a thick skin and a plastic heart. It's like, let me stop. <laughs> if you say so, then it must be true. To him, you say you don't have anyone to fight. Now you do? What's there to discuss? You know what happens if you lose, Choom? Don't care, cause I don't lose. Okay. Because he picked things up and put them down. Like, I, I can't stand this dialogue. That shit is so funny. Alright, let me get out of here because at this point... I really don't have any business being here, so...
And I did kill off everyone. And as soon as I get out of the store, I'm just gonna- OH SHIT! Woo! That scared me! I'm so sorry, buddy, but you scared the hell out of me. And yeah, I know, I'm carrying too much. I'm just gonna keep on stealing, and then after that, I'll leave. And at this point, I don't think anyone's here, so... Nah, it's some, some interview thing, I'm not interested. Yo, wontongs? Coffee? Oh my god, a baseball bat? Oh, I'm about to steal everything in this place. Damn. What else can I steal? Like, let me see. Let me stop, let me leave. Let me leave, because I know- I know what you guys are thinking. Damn, Denise, do you really need all that? Like, you're carrying too much, bro. And you know what I say to that? I don't care! I love it! Alright, I'm leaving. There's nothing else to steal, so... Excellent. Equilibrium sometimes demands sacrifices. Contract closed. Holy, yo, 20 grand? Oh my god, today's my lucky day. I need you to grab some goods. Rare ones, scanty rods. Fell into the hands of a junkie who's got no clue what they're worth. I couldn't bear to see them go to waste. Read the attachment and get to work. This is in your run of the mill gig. Client this time is me. <gasps> oh no, Padre, for real? What happened, buddy? You know the H1 mega building in the Glen? City within a city, crumbling tower of concrete and faulty wiring. Damn, I'm surprised the city didn't seize this building yet. That it hasn't already collapsed is thanks to a guy named El Gallo. Brilliant techie, he was. Past tense. It's the same old story. El Gallo's got a drug problem. A big one. He's completely lost touch with reality. Goes from one score of sin coke to another. Needless to say, he's in no state to repair any creaky doors. But, for some reason, he got it into his head that everything would be better if he could just get his hands on some scanium rods. So he stole them from a corporate warehouse. These rods are rare por rare parts rare and very expensive i wouldn't want to see them go to waste go to h1 access code already taken care of and get them from el gallo before that junkie pawns them i don't care how you do it so as long as it gets done whoa 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 what's this oh shit okay Bro, I love your guitar, it's pretty sick, my man, like, this, this is the type of shit I love seeing in Cyberpunk. Uh, can I give him spare change? I'm sorry, I don't know how. I wish I could, but I don't know how. And, but look at him, he's all happy, he's, I like that. He's just happy. I love it. Alright, so, what's over here? If I were you, Gallo, he's, he's lost it up there, you know? It's okay, my man. Um, uh, NC resident, I got this. Damn, it's so dark in here. I can't even see for shit. Okay, the door's over here. So this is where he hides in, huh? My goodness. Ooh, what's this? Alright, so question is, how dangerous is he? Is that Gaio? Oh shit, there he is. Fuck you, Rana. I just want to ask you a fucking question. I don't know, eh? 
Okay, so I feel like as long as I don't look at him, he can't find me. So let me see here. You're hiding something. I know it. What are you not telling me, huh? Fucking rip it out of you. I'll fucking gun you. Oh shit. Does he know I'm here? Oh shit, he knows. What hurts? Are you high already? My boy. Fuck! He knows I'm here. Oh, oh well. No, I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. Oh, now you wanna fucking run away, puto. Oh, shit. What the hell did he do? Are you dead? Um, well, according to this spreadsheet, spreadsheet here. He is wanted for thievery and murder, so... Ooh, what's this? Elevator's still broken. Second fucking week in a row. Either you fix it, or you're back to pounding the pavement, understand? I'm sure others would happily take your job and don't have a drug problem. Lee. Damn. Damn. Okay, let me see. Alright, so let me go ahead and steal the scanium rods. They are in here. Alright, I got them. Not bad. Let me see what else I can steal from here. Hold on. Money? Oh, hell yeah. Shit, don't have to tell me twice. I think... I think that's it, though. Yeah, because I don't see anything else for me to take, so... Yeah, he's dead. He's... he's gone. He is officially... retired, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he ain't gonna bother you no more, okay? Alright, cool. This place is a dump. I would never live here. Bye, Mystery Guitar Man. I appreciate your guitar riffs. Awesome play. Like, awesome play indeed. Alright, so I got deposit, the rods, and the drop point, which... Oh, it's just right here. My bad. I walked past them. There you go. Awesome. I have the rods, which makes me a happy man. And that is rare for Rarer than the rain on the Egyptian desert of which Moses wandered. Look at him, a poet. But I digress. The contract is closed. Payment on its way. How much? Yo, I got 19,000! Dude, I love doing these, these mercenary jobs. Like, that's mad money. It is hard to achieve peace if there is a demon never leaving. Oh my god, is that... Is, like the silence in the eye is that another the monk that I see? You start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. I mean, I'm dying, but okay. You are losing touch with yourself. Because I'm dying. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Is this some kind of prank? Someone's scrolling all this? Normally you are open to new things, but now you are afraid. Fine. What's all this about? Meditation. You mean like being zen? Precisely. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes, the filth of the world suffocates you. Sure is a new Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All which you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I want specifics. What's in it for me? 
Yeah. Self-fulfillment. You shall hear your voice, and only yours. All else will become silent. Huh, I really gotta see this. Than that. You cannot exile yourself from your own life. I'll give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. In that case, I'll just take it for free. You can't be doing this just for the eddies. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. If you hurt me in any way, shape, or form, I'm gonna kill you. This better not be a trap. Holy shit, he's legit. Spirit of nature, Mother Earth, I send you greetings. We are of one blood. I am you. You are me. Oh, Mother Earth, I and all other creatures from you created. Cleanse my body and soul from pain, sickness, impurity, and the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. I'm not able to move at the we moment, walk the but. Earth through meadows, nature in full bloom, we remove our shoes, feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the Earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the Earth. A butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the Earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. This is some ASMR type of shit. <laughs> it's funny. Hmm. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. Well, well, looks like I didn't get robbed after all. Whoa, um, he's gone! Hello? Nice vanishing trick. Yo, he dipped! He's gone! He left me! I mean, I'm gonna take this. But he left me! I guess he didn't take anything because I still have all my stuff and my weapons, right? Yeah, he didn't take anything. That's cool. Hey, you look like one of those- one of the guys from that- that group Try Guys. Eugene. Yeah, you look like Eugene. So, yeah, I did not know that Cyberpunk actually has a park inside the city. Like, look at this place. It's amazing. I definitely, yeah, I can tell this is a park. Look how nasty that trash bag is. But look at this. This is pretty nice. I mean, granted, it's really messy and nasty, but... This is pretty nice. It's like a nice little zen garden for you to walk by and stroll. Oh, look at the water! Damn, this is mad nasty, though. Look at all those trash and garbage. I mean, yeah, I can definitely tell this is a park. Whiskey? I'll take that. I'll take that. 
I'll take some more whiskey. Because I know my work wife loves to drink, so I'll definitely give her these bottles. Peace is heading to print. Happy to hear. Nice. So Nancy's publishing her article. I helped her son get his car back all is well. So I'm actually pretty happy. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies and I'll see you next time.